What's up, folks? It's Bob Hollywood here with another episode of Bob's Holly World. Welcome to my messy world. As you can see, there's quite a bit of accessories in the back. But if you ask me, I think that's very important for today's episode. If you couldn't tell by the way the figures were set up, this is another episode of Civvies, Soldiers, Spacemen, and Superheroes, CSSS. And it's been a while since I recorded one of these episodes, man. Like, time was just moving so fast. Of course, I was still getting figures, but... I just wasn't making these episodes, and, I, and I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry because, you know, I wanted to keep a strict schedule of recording and releasing videos, but I failed myself and I failed you guys in the process. Um, but the reason why all of the stuff in the background is important, the fingernail polish remover, the uh, Mod Podge, the screwdrivers, um, there's some other stuff that's off screen you can't see, like, uh, like uh, I can't even think of what it's called. When you put it on the paint, I cannot think of what it's called, but... Anyway, basically what's in front of you are 15 figures and there are an additional three off screen. And these are all customs of some sort. Some are just hit swaps. Some are just, you know, painting over. It's all, it's all different. So um, today's episode of Civvies, Soldiers, Spacemen, and Superheroes is going to be the customs episode. Um, I'm going to have another one of these down the, down the line coming specifically for this figure. I should have had him out already, but as soon as I find it... Oh, wow, this is, this is just poor planning on my part, guys. Yeah, this is horrible. He should have been up. Okay, if you're familiar with the four line of figures, this guy here, Ogre, I have been working on a ton of these guys. So I'm going to show you those in the future. But this, So none of those figures are in this video. It would have been twice as long, if not longer. So anyway, without further ado, let's get right into it. Uh, the first figure we have... Is going to be Jyn Erso. This is a Star Wars 5 POA figure. Um, what you'll notice about her is only thing that's different is I took this little accessory from a McFarland um, build a set basically for Rick and Morty and just popped it on there. Her original head was on there, but I was like, no, nah, let me just do this. And I don't know why I did it comically, but that's her now. So she's still a spaceman and now she's actually like an alien alien. So that that's cool if you ask me. She's pretty low because that's all I did and. It's not much you could do with this figure, really, right? Up next is, this is a core buck. I have not given this guy a name. This is a buck of, again, look at me being unprepared. I should have had this ready. Oh, well. But this is a buck of this dude. And um, I had a different head on there initially, but I was like, the head, that this, the figure that this head came from, I didn't like at all. And it was broken anyway, so I was like, well, they're both water thing. Let me just take it off. It's a little bit smaller than I would like, but it looks right. It's cool with me. There's that guy. Number three is one of my earlier customs. He's, this guy's actually made it to Instagram, but this is H from um, Ready Player One. This is one of several that I painted. He's ranked so low compared to the others because I just didn't like the way the brown turned up. And... um you can see here that uh, I could have done a little bit better before I glossed it, but it's cool. It's a good figure. It's just that the brown was my least favorite out of the ones I painted. Up next is, I think, I want to say this is my first complete custom. This is uh, Condor from the um, the core line of figures. You'll see a lot of core figures because they're so cheap in there. I don't want to say cheap. They're so inexpensive, and you can do a lot, whether it's just swapping heads or painting them. Um, I named this guy Raven. And when I first made this guy, I, I was going for the purple color scheme. I did his helmet first. And then I was like, I don't know what happened. I just added red and yellow. I wasn't thinking. Um, this is probably my least favorite custom. I don't know why. Um, just because I, like, I don't like how glossy he looks. And um, I thought I was doing something special with his uh, camo, but I sucked at it. And um, I would like another stab at this guy. He has a special place in my heart for being the first, but with him being the first, he's also my worst. So, there he is. Next up is another Ready Player One figure. You're going to see next to Core, Ready Player One is my favorite thing to customize, because I bought a bunch of them. There was four in the pack, and I bought a bunch of them from Dirt Cheap. So, um, I remember giving her a name, but I don't remember that name. And the reason why she's so low, I painted her. I wanted her to be black. Um... As you can see where her joints are, when I painted her, I had her arms up like this. So I completely forgot about her shoulders. When I finally put her arms down, her shoulders were still pink. Um, this is just from moving. I mean, I still love this this this, this toy. This is Artemis 
from um, Ready Player One, but I could have done better. I gave her gold on the belt instead of silver. I gave her gold lipstick. I did her eyes. I had to do her eyebrows and all of that. And I could have done a better job. The best part, the best thing I did was her hair. As you'll see later, it's, it's pink and black and white, but I did it. So there she is. She's only ranked so low because I could, early figure I could have done better. All right, here we have a, a figure. And I am doing a brain fart on what the actual Buck's name is. I'm mad about that. I, and I don't even have a Buck to compare him to because I only had the one. And I put this head on there. This is a Backstreet Boys head. The Burger King toy, early 2000s, maybe late 90s. You know, when they were at the height of their popularity. Um, yeah, this guy does not have a name right now. But I think it's cool. And the reason why he's ranked so low is because it's just a head swap. I mean, I did have to do some shaving of the this little thing for his hood to get it to stick. And I initially didn't even want it on this figure, but it was more, it fit better on this figure than the other figure I was trying to put it on. I thought about painting it so it's black, but I was like, it's not that big of a deal. He's an individual. So there he is. All right, up next is another uh, another clone of this guy. And uh, his name is uh, Diesel, by the way. The buck is Diesel. And, um, if you couldn't tell, this hit is a Qui-Gon Jinn hit. Let me zoom. Let me clear that up. It doesn't want to clear up. It doesn't want you to see his hit. There you go. It's a Qui-Gon Jinn hit of an older figure. Um, I'm assuming the figure would have came out when Qui-Gon Jinn was first in the films. I bought a bunch of Star Wars figures like that. But these older where the hits can stick down. This is a newer Qui-Gon Jinn, but this one has like the uh, ball in the on the base, and then his head can go on different figures. So this is definitely older style, and um, I just I didn't like the figure much, but I figured you know he's got a rebreather. This is a swimsuit. The core is not the army, so he can get away with having the longer hair. Why the hell not? He really doesn't want to zoom in on or focus on Qui-Gon, but I haven't given this guy a name yet. I gotta come up with a name with him, and I feel bad. I haven't given him all of these guys names. Anyway, here we go. This is initially this buck. I'm not going to keep pulling out original bucks. Obviously, a core buck. I want to say uh, Recoil was the uh, original uh, buck. And the only thing that's different is I painted his hair. I painted his hair orange. I think his hair, orange, his hair was originally blonde. Um, I painted his hair orange. I call him Irish. That is his name. Um, you can see there are some rough areas around the ears and the back of the neck. But I like this head. I like what I did with it. Originally, I was going to take it off this buck, but I was like, nah, we'll keep it on the buck. And um, just paint him. He looks cool in my eyes. Um, I started with a lighter base and moved to darker. I should have done that the other way around, but I still like the way it turned out. It's like layers. It's not just one color orange. All right. These two, I'm going to just rank these two together. This buck is Puma. This buck is Snakebite. All I did was switch their heads around. And um, I have a bunch of these. I painted one of Snakebite. But um, for these two, I just went the simple swap. There was no need to do anything different. They're now they're two different figures. Now, this version, who doesn't have a name yet, is with the Curse. And this one's a Core. Neither of them have a name yet. But they're going to get them. Bam. Oh, we're almost done. So here, this is a Gamora, a Buck, and an Artemis head. And as, you were, as I was saying earlier, this is the original head. I didn't do anything to it. I just put this head on this buck. And, um, yeah. Uh, how I have the ogre set, I was going to do a Gamora set. But I only have this one, the next figure we're going to talk about, and the actual Gamora. So I was like, nah, not yet. Maybe down the line. I do have a bunch of heads to put on Gamora bodies. I just don't have the bodies yet. But I like her. She's cool. Uh, it's Gamora. It's a pretty good... And this is my first Gamora the figure I use as Gamora is um, the shinier version, but I wanted this just a base buck for these customs. Next up is another Gamora. And this head is uh, part name Ocean. And this is a Marauder's Gun Runner's head. You're going to see this again in the future. But yeah, this is a Marauder's Gun Runner's head. More realistic. I was glad. It, I wasn't sure if it was going to fit on a Gamora buck. I bought like four heads, specifically four Gamora bucks. And, um,. They fit, and this is just the first one I used. More to come. All right, and we're rounding it out. The last three figures you see are all Ready Player One bucks. This time we have Parzival. And what I did with this figure is initially I put a Star Lord's head on the buck. I just switched the Star Lord figure, the um, comic accurate Star Lord, the one that would have came in a two pack with this buck, or you know what I mean. But um. Uh, I was like, nah, I had these Star I mean these Power Ranger figures that I didn't really need anything for. It. Their heads off. Heads couldn't fit on a lot of stuff. 
they fit on this guy and I chose this gold ranger I guess because of the gold on his boots I like it I really do and this is a uh, now instead of a civvy he's a spaceman I didn't go over that but um, actually I think this is the only one that's it's in a different category now this is now a spaceman um, cool up next I'm gonna just do both of these again we got H bodies one's blue one's purple I like the purple more um, it just looks better to me uh, the blue's cool, but the purple just looks better to me. These were hard to paint. Like, when you get in the back, you see how there's the back on here? It's just almost just, I just painted the whole thing. And when I tried to do it on this, I just, I tried to stay on the lines. I've gotten a little bit better with that now. Um, if I buy any more of these, they might look a little bit better, but no guarantees. But these were fun to paint. These were very fun to paint. And um, I like these. They just look better than the, the brown one. And if you couldn't tell, I did, uh, other than this one, he doesn't count because he's blue but other than that i did an afc north theme i don't even know what i did with the with the brown one i don't even see the brown one. there he is i did an afc north theme so browns ravens the original one is yellow and yeah so we'll see all right we are in the top three and i don't know how i want to break this down i do i do so number three is this young lady this is jenner so and the reason why she's so high, I painted her. All I did was paint her red. I wanted her to be with the uh, the uh, Ravagers, with Yondu and Star-Lord. And yeah, I love this, the way this came out. I, I don't think, I don't think I used a base, um, a primer. I don't think I used a primer. I think I just colored it. I just went ahead and colored it red, took a couple of layers. If you look close enough, you could see where it might be... Uh, coming off a little bit but obviously i still used mod podge and um i don't remember if this is her original head or not i can find out as soon as i find the yeah i don't remember like these are the same exact figures i had two of them and usually i like to keep one in their original condition which was this one and i think i took her head off yeah this is technically the original mold but it, the head came from that other figure because i gave her figure her head to the more uh poseable jenner so because i liked it better and the head I gave this one from that generation was a little wobbly. So this is just painted. It's awesome. I love her. Number two is going to be the last H. Now when I said that I did the NFC North, or excuse me, the AFC North, here is your Bengals. So he's orange. I, I think this one was the first one I painted. And um, I just like him. I just do. Like him and the purple, they're almost tied to me. But because this one was first, it just has a special place in my heart. And that's that. Nothing nothing really to say about him. I mean, I've gone over four, three other H's. So this one's just orange. It was fun. Last, there's certainly not least. And actually, I think I did Qui-Gon and, and this guy after her. But other than that, she is one of the newer ones. And it goes back to that snake bite buck. Her name is Winged Serpent. What I like to do a lot of the times when I do um, when I do a custom, like say this snake bite butt buck, you can't tell it's snake bite because I painted it. I could have easily said it was a Puma's buck, but say the snake bite buck, I like to name the custom after who it was. So snake bite, obviously a snake theme. I named her Winged Serpent, and um, I gave her wings. These wings came from an actual six inch bumblebee figure, but they fit on her. When I painted it her, I wanted it to be the same color as the base, but I messed up big time, and I just kept it. Um, also, initially when I painted her, the yellow was supposed to be yellow on her legs, and the, this, this green, which was supposed to be this blue, was supposed to have camo in it. I was going to do, like, yellow camo, but I was like, uh, she's flying, so it's not like she's going to be stealthy. So I, I scrapped that, and um, her boots are black. I painted everything on this figure except for the gloves, the skin. And the shirt that's still gray, but this, as you can see, this is this is the natural buck right here. Nothing's different on this buck. I mean, everything's different on this buck except for those portions of the upper half. So the different boots, I painted the 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 knife, the holster, the gun holster, everything. Um, and I still got at least two of these some bitches I gotta do. So and I got two or one or two snake bite or pumas. So. Yeah, I like it. I like her. She's number one for me. And like I said, she's one of the more recent ones. I thought about changing her head. 
or here, but so far I've just kept it. Just kept it the way she is. I think she's awesome. This was the hardest thing I had to paint, mostly because of these legs, and the legs are sloppy. I'm getting better. The legs, the straps on the, the, the straps, I'm getting better, but this was fun. She was fun to paint. It took a while. Thank you guys for joining me for this episode of Civvy Soldiers, Spacemen, and Superheroes. Again, I am sorry that it took me so goddamn long to make one of these videos. I've been trying to post like I'm supposed to now. Had some technical difficulties and changing of a job, so the schedule changed. But those are excuses you don't need to hear. You just want to see my content, and I appreciate that. I appreciate you guys watching me here. Same bad time, same bad channel. So, with that being said, I'll see you next time. Enjoy the rest of your day. Also, let all the homies know where they can find me, B.O.B. That's right here at Bob's Hollywood.